Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Look, 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 look. The finest hand picked well Albert. spring meets the chewiest brown sugar bobo on the block. Oh, thank god we got Albert back. Carnitine, flavor, and health. Immortals delight. The drink of divine. <laughs> what is this ad? <laughs> nice. Cool. Newsflash. We're getting ads the now. Wait, what? The IPC will soon be dispatching representatives to multiple worlds. The effort is part of a raft of new measures to encourage <laughs> trade and strengthen friendship throughout the cosmos. The Genius Society's newest masterpiece, Simulated Universe World 8, is about to go live. World Madame 8! Herta Let's has go! revealed that the project is about to enter the launch phase. For further details, don't forget to tune in to our program's follow-up reporting. Renowned We're a new songstress world. Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. What is this, though? Well, guys, at least we could say they are bringing Hello? something new every time. Hello? It's a ho wait, the what the fuck was that? It's a horror movie now? Hello. My name is Hua. Prepare for a haunting? Recent days, the Sienjo Lofu has reported an uptick in supernatural activity. With evil spirits wreaking havoc across multiple locations, I like you. The Ten Lords Commission has assured citizens that it is thoroughly investigating all incidents. This program will be bringing you the latest as the story <laughs> unfolds. For more details, stay tuned for the upcoming Haunted Cienjo special program. Beautiful creature, guys! Bless you for choosing guys! to sally here. It's I want happening! To ask you, <laughs> as a fellow entity of the universe, are you? Acquainted or the Lord Goddess Sidrilla. Knights of Beauty. Welp, that's all you get, guys. That's all you get. <laughs> You're not getting anything else. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cutscene. Another anomaly in this shining universe. Since you do not understand the beauty, what? I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. Oh my god! You need is eternal! Hey! Oh, we made it! What's up, guys? We're the haunted place in the wall. What is going on? What is this? Dude! Yo, what's up? You're finally here! Captain Hohua, should we start Hello? the ghost talk now? Captain? You can just call me Hohua. There we go. There's new characters. Yeah, not gonna lie, Hanya looks amazing. Shit, what the hell happened? What was all that? And why is there a Pikachu-like creature in the corner? It looks like freaking Pikachu. Guys, we got the code, by the way, guys. We got the code. Please copy-paste the code. Post it in the chat. Post it in our Discord. We can maybe make a pinned in the chat as well. Get the code. Get them while they're hot. Okay, don't forget about it. Please pin the codes if you can. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Dom. Thank you. That's a bit too much. That's a bit too much, uh, Easy Speasy. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you so much. First code is pinned in the chat. Make sure that you guys use your code. My god. Dude, that was every kind of crazy. What was that? So much was going on. Your heart is racing? That was, that was insane. That was insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I definitely can't wait to see more now. Darkness falls Ooh, across here we the go. delve. 
as ghost fires dance, the clock strikes twelve. Well, yeah, it's it screams Halloween. Yeah, it does. A midnight hour. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Inner Astral Peace Media's Haunted Sienjo special program. I'm your oh, ghostly yeah. host with the most. Halbert. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> ha episode, Halbert. We've invited Fuck yeah. two special guests. Together, we'll be introducing you Gwen to Ife the and, by the way, Ipe. weirdest and most wonderful. Hi everyone. I'm the Galactic Baseballer. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Speaking of weird and wonderful. <laughs> hey People guys, use him. Green knife in here. It's an honor to be a guest on the 1.5 special program. I, li I like oh. Gwenaif and she's good. Uh, I mean, Owlbert's Haunted Cienjo special program. <laughs> huh? Owlbert, did you unlock a new skin? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Naturally, an anchor of my standing needs to have the best wardrobe department in town. Now. As our audience will be well aware, this Yenjo is constantly roaming the universe. And the universe is filled with the unknown. It should come as no surprise then that the Lafu has had its fair share of strange encounters. Oh, it's and it's only gonna get stranger. Strange, the trailer we just witnessed gave us a sneak peek into a place of mystery. I'm excited now. I really am. Ghost fire. Fixtral Garden. That looked I fucking awesome. Fixtral Garden was just some old abandoned place on the Law Fu. Why is it suddenly getting so much attention? Allow me to explain. A while back, the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace was shattered, and the Heliobi trapped inside were able to escape. Know where they went to hide? Mm, yep. Fixtral Garden. I see. So this Wait, is a new zone, right? What's up, Heliobi? People say that the Heliobi are the result of accumulated grievances. They can possess people, deceive the senses, affect the soul, and usurp the flesh. Those possessed exhibit bizarre behavior and restless thoughts. It's a truly frightening spectacle. But the creation furnace wasn't exactly fragile. How could it just break? Rumor has it. The Artisanship Commission surveillance recorded a gray-haired figure in dark clothing. Paper picture. Huh. <laughs> gray hair, dark clothing. Did they have a baseball bat? Hey, don't <laughs> pin this on me. The destruction of the creation furnace was a direct result of the Stellaron disaster. Right, Oliver? Just tell us more about Fixtral Garden. <laughs> okay, tell us Fixtral about it. Fixtral Garden? Has it looks always cool. been overflowing with yin looks energy. like a freaking Pokemon the stadium. The itself is littered with suppression towers, stone monoliths, and <laughs> ancient trees. It's creepy enough in the day. But when the sun goes down, things get a whole lot creepier. The garden is layered and deceptive, and it's easy to lose your bearings. I would bring less punny, but he needs to keep in, the atmosphere going. It's probably the most dangerous place on the Lafu. Ooh. Helio Bai are experts when it comes to possession, and even the most experienced Wraith Wardens and Arumaton Spectral Envoys oh, yeah, I like can the vibe too, become yeah. their victims. When you can't tell your friend from your enemy, things tend to go south fast. With the masks on their thighs? wasn't Ooh. enough, they say that Mara-stricken members oh, of God. the Ten Lords Commission Not the Mara struck again. The A word of advice? Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Sounds like great streaming material to me. I bet I could become the CN Joe's number one streamer in no time. <laughs> Funny you should mention to most people. Can we swap and have playable enemies instead? Always a strange and desolate place. I mean, you did. You had the Pokemon event. Got much attention. But now that stories are beginning to circulate, the situation has changed. Recently. The Sienjo's online forums have been filling up with posts describing supernatural phenomena in Fixtral Garden. Everything from self-playing violins to the wailing cries of vengeful <laughs> Thank ghosts. you, Mazegas. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Sienjo fans of the supernatural are loving every second. Uh, in my experience, forums aren't exactly the most reliable news sources. Ugh, who cares if some of it's false? 
This is a hype train I can't afford to miss. Trailblazer, what do you think? Want to start a ghost hunting squad with me? Yes. <sighs> Fire breathing, yes. quiet band performances, ghost headstands, hunting. Let's go. Balancing act, spear deflection, sword exactly. juggling, and do, man. boulder smashing. Weren't enough, huh? Now you're an expert in ghost hunting? Uh, who said I was an expert? Yeah, she's like Hutao and Sucrose combined. Yeah, kind skills. of Sucrose. That's all. <laughs> well, you better hope so. Sutao. Speaking of which, in the brand new version 1.5, Trailblaze Continuance, a Foxian tale of the hunted. The ghost hunting squad will be responsible for chasing down Heliopi, <laughs> purging evil, resolving crises, and protecting the Sienjo. A Foxian tale of the hunted is divided into five chapters and starts off with the ghost hunting squad facing an unusual danger and Sojourner's ghastly reverie. Once this chapter is complete, the story continues to unfold with twins, percipient, sword essence, and Foxian dreams. Five chapters, huh? We'll be topping Sienjo internet searches in no time. See? I knew we were on the same wavelength. In addition People to Trailblazers money? Continuance, yeah, man. and together with Miss Gwynn, I'm already afraid. Trailblazers will also be facing mm -hmm. fixtural garden dangers in both lawful Five. urban legends and ghost hunting squad missions. <laughs> cool. This is gonna be awesome, man. And this is gonna be great. Forgot to mention, during the ghost hunting squad's picture, this is gonna be amazing. Trailblazers can jointly manage great knife and socials. Posting threads is a great way to create discussion among Zienjo netizens. Exams are star relics of the supernatural. Oh, I can't wait. Ooh. We're gonna get the whole Zienjo talking. Seriously, this is once in a lifetime material. We gotta plug it for everything it's got. Breaking I'm news. Daily updates, community engagements, all that good stuff. Once you get enough momentum, the fan base grows itself. <laughs> we'll have Social media Twitter. stardom is X. finally on the horizon. <laughs> oh, you know, Miss Gwynnifen, there's always room for creative talents at the IBM, and I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I've introduced a lot of big names to the company. The Albert's stamp of approval goes a long way. Aw, thanks, Albert. I'm afraid I'm too invested in the CN Joe for now, though. Good to know there's an offer on the table. Well, it's cool. I get it. <laughs> but uh, here's my card if you ever want a collab. Just give me a shout. Deal. Now, where were we? Oh, socials. Increasing your account's popularity level allows you to unlock more stories and events. Oh, wow. Your ghost hunting skills will only improve as you unlock more suppression towers and Sheesh. take on new challenges. Not to mention, by completing limited time new missions, light cone. Trailblazers can obtain the event light cone, hey, over here. What do you think, hey. Guaylings? Hey, oh. Let's give it up for Guaylings' generosity. Woo! This is, is this one for... <sighs> Still, I a hope specific the light cone for her? Job. What? It sounds like we'll have a lot on our I plate. I need one. Don't worry. You might just be getting a helping hand from one of the Sienjo's It's not for her, but she's on forces, there. The Ten Such. Lords Commission. But why? They're the judges of she the Marsh. She should be on there. What is this? The of oh, I didn't notice that. Uh, what it was? When it comes oh, it's to abundance. Oh, okay, makes sense. And expelling the supernatural. Nobody does it like the Ten Lords. But despite the reputation, they're shrouded in a certain amount of mystery. Whoa! The Ten Lords are getting involved. Just when I thought our stream couldn't get any crazier. Well, before you get too excited, I'd spend some time getting to know your assignee. The Ten Lords have dispatched a trainee judge to assist the ghost hunting squad in investigating the fixture garden situation. Trainee, huh? Uh, as long as they're confident in their abilities. Yeah, about that. <laughs> what do you mean about that? Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, she doesn't, se she doesn't seem that confident, does she? That foxtail, though. I, I like how the foxtail is like, looks all ghosty. Uh huh. What looks cool. Was a Look at that tail. Following the path of so cool. And a trainee judge of the Ten Lords Commission. <gasps> I like her. Wait, is her tail on fire? Those are the spookiest looking flames I've ever seen. Yeah. Does being on fire help with ghost hunting? She's a what five star, are you two though. About? Uh, uh, nothing. Just beginning to doubt her credentials. So how five star this abundance. This little girl become wins? a judge in the first place. Good question. <laughs> Wahua is essentially a magnet for evil. Something that yeah, comes apparently two voice actors for the Ten Lords Commission. 
<laughs> they couldn't believe their luck. Sounds qualified. Of course. Can't see Big Head of the way. You're gonna have to deal with the head. I'm sorry. <laughs> the key is to bring the best. Yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah. Still Twice the same. Whoa, whoa. What was unique skill set isn't exactly a blessing. People say she has the worst luck on the CN show. Always running into ghosts, tripping over I will over skip every battery. <laughs> you know the deal. Well, if I spent my life running into ghosts, I'd probably fall over a lot too. I remember one of my Gwailings had the same problem. Lucky for her, one of my sponsors sells this amazing remedy that can- And we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> I only told you half <laughs> He's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bad luck, evil attraction, call it what you like. She's a Benny. It all started from a single unfortunate event. Oh? When Wait, look was look at her knees younger, shaking. Her tail the poor was thing. possessed by a monstrous long life species. Any guesses? Yep. It was a helio bus. That very oh, same day, Lord. the Ten Lords Commission decided to seal the monster in its hiding place. I can't. So I can't. I'm gonna have to start asking donations. Uh, I, I can't. Get it. So Huoco Money is can't go. Like a, a Ten Lords guinea pig. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I think Herda had a similar fate planned for me. That may have been part of it. However, the Ten Lords realized that Huahua had the ability to pacify the monster. Naturally, anyone able to wield the power of a helio bus was seen as a potential weapon of war. But she's just a baby! How could a scared little foxy and girl ever take on the responsibilities of the Ten Lords? Oh, Sheesh. was well aware she's just scared a cat. That's why she watches so many horror Mercia to train her. Oh, these. <laughs> I, I don't know if they're kissing. I don't know what they're doing right here. <laughs> <laughs> kissing or hugging? I have no idea. If that actually worked, I'd have joined the Stellaron Hunters already. Practicality aside, what was willingness to confront her shortcomings is a true sign of professionalism. Not to mention, oh, having spent is awesome. more than a few years in the company of a Heliobus, she's had to develop her own tricks for banishing evil. What was basic attack? Banner Stormcaller can deal wind damage to a single target. Uh, kind of looks like her tail is the one making the decisions. <clears throat> when using her skill, <laughs> Talisman Protection, Whoop Whoop bravely brandishes her banner, restoring HP to a single ally and okay. adjacent teammates. Are single you target sure heal? she's not trying to surrender? <laughs> <laughs> tail Spiritual Domination can oh. regenerate allies' energy and increase their attack. Whoa. Oh, attack so buff that's as well. What a helio bus looks like. Oh God! No wonder it took the Ten Lords Commission to seal it away. When under the influence of her tail, Wuhua has a few special talents. After using her skill, she receives Sacrifice Life. Sacrifice Life can grant allies a set amount of HP restoration at the beginning of their respective turns, or when oh, they God. use their ultimate. Nice. Not oh, bad God. for a trainee, huh? Is it, is it me, this or are they making these characters better and better? Mm, that's not all. What was technique? Fiend impeachment of evil. I don't Sends want Byler anymore. I want her now. <laughs> horror-struck state and scatters them in all directions. When attacking a horror-struck enemy, there's a chance of reducing their attack. Oh, scaring away your enemies. <laughs> nice moves, Huahua. Still not getting Hua -hua. judged vibes, though. Hey, easy on the trainee. <laughs> Of course, when you're dealing with Heliobar, the more judges, the better. That's why the Ten Lords appointed a seasoned veteran to bring up the rear. Also, she got I'm little paws in the rise, like, come on. Other than Hanya. Hanya! Okay, fuck. Guys, it's time for more drip marketing. Oh, God. Oh, God. More money to waste. <laughs> oh, it's one after the other, isn't it? Oh, God. Look at her. Those eyes. The light in her Hanya eyes. Hanya is a netherworld judge of the Ten Ooh. Lords Commission. She's a physical type character. Physical? She's physical? Oh, okay. Harmony. Uh, physical harmony. I remember that face. Uh, I saw her on the Return to Darkness light cone. Mm, correct. She's a four star. I, I, I didn't Rather, expect her to be a four she's star. She's a four star. Dedicated to the work of the Ten Lords. She's responsible for predicting karmic offenses and recording corresponding judgments. Or to be more precise, Hanya she reads looks like the karmic sins and of criminals. And <laughs> she kind of does. <laughs> to record their punishments. She's good at her job and takes it super seriously. In the Ten Lords Commission, 
Her reputation precedes her. They're all slaves. <laughs> Sounds like a ten lord celebrity. She They're looking really, really good. That's for sure. In order to determine their sins, Hanya reads the fire. memories of the Mara struck in the form of dreams. Cool. Shen Her meets Lila, exactly. Sounds like our ghost hunting squad just found its guiding light. Uh, no offense, Hua Hua, but those sound like credentials. Hey, also, mommy. Enough with the Hua Hua bullying. But speaking of credentials, it's time to see what Hanya can do on the battlefield. Please, show During us. During her basic attack. Hanya uses her oracle brush to assault the enemy, dealing physical damage to a single target. Okay. She really lives sure. by the pen is mightier than the sword, huh? <laughs> That's a um, big pen. I'll get my. I didn't realize it was a fucking brush. In addition to dealing physical damage to a single target, Hanya's skill, Samsara Lot, can inflict them with a burden state. Ooh. Okay. Is that Hanya's way of marking enemies prior to sentencing? Pretty much. Allies inflict increased damage on enemies marked with burden. And okay. if that wasn't enough, after an ally launches a set amount of attacks on an enemy marked with burden, they recover a skill point. When the going gets tough, and I was Anya's thinking it, yeah. <laughs> Anya's ultimate, Ten Lord's Decree, all shall obey, Ooh. can increase speed and attack for a single ally. When Hanya uses her technique during exploration, she immediately launches an attack and inflicts burden on a random enemy. When the enemy won't budge, call in the judge. All that aside, interesting, interesting. In version 1.5, the new stagnant shadow. Okay, new stagnant Secret shadows, of course. Will appear within the fictional garden map on the Sienjo Lafu. Complete the challenge to obtain new physical ascension materials. Yay. Well, Within I mean, we knew that map, was happening. Ooh, we'll new also sets. Also be welcoming Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Darkness. Ooh. Complete the challenge to obtain two brand new Path Cavern Path of Darkness. Relics. I like it. They look cool. Confinement and Grand Duke incinerated to ashes. <laughs> Woo. Well, that just about brings us to the final sections of our Haunted Sien Joe special program. This is huh? really good Already? so far. Oh, this program isn't nearly haunted enough for my liking. We need Where more, we need more. Stories? Come on, come you on, know, come on. Beautiful foxy and spirits knocking on your door at midnight. That kind of thing. I think you're thinking of a different program. Moving swiftly on to some exciting updates. Updates. Thanks again for watching, y'all, and don't go anywhere. Codes. Be right back after the following commercials. <laughs> Come on, give us that code. Give us that code. Hey, you there. Another code. Let's go. Code number two. Grind. Had enough of running errands. Do you long for rap? These ads, though, it's funny. Cheering voices. <laughs> How about increased self confidence and a sense of pride? Baka, how are you this we fast? Have an opportunity for real. For you. <laughs> Can we the pin Baka's comments? The Town Martial Exhibition is now open for registration. Thank you. Put yourself to the test by challenging the best. This event will once again be hosted by Scott Business okay. Alliance. Scott Business sure. Alliance, made for the champions. Sure, sure, sure. In order sure. to bring our audience a brand new experience, this event will be adopting a simultaneous exhibition format. Use your fists to prove your worth. Enter, I am the ultimate fighter to register your name. Could Not you eat. be Boulder Town's new fighting star? Boulder Town Super League Martial Exhibition. A stellar shadow secret okay, recruitment the announcement. March 7th, member of the Nameless has put out a cordial invitation for anyone able to restore her photographs to the way she remembers them. Oh, the God. images in question were inexplicably damaged. I lost all okay. kinds of cool Well, I, I guess we gotta you have one of those scenery, as well, right? strange encounters, you name it. There's a big reward for anyone that can help me restore the images. Okay, we kind of have a similar thing in Genshin, I guess. Words. Miss March's memories are in What the difference hands. between the two events, though? Madam Herda of the Genius Society Bacchus is about had a typo? to launch okay. unlimited beta testing for the newly developed simulated universe world, world eight. eight. There it is. Participants will have their cost covered what are we fighting there? and progress saved for Yan future Ching? iterations. In order to participate we'll fight in the offline competition, World 8. Oh death, God! Please head to the most mysterious place in the universe, Herda's office. Death participants uh, yes, will be rewarded no. <laughs> with a brand new Pentagoni <laughs> Land of the Dreams and Firmament Frontline Glamoth Planer ornaments. More what ornaments? are you waiting for? Get testing. We're gonna have to do it. We need those ornaments. Good news! The Planer Fisher and Garden of Plenty events <laughs> are about to begin. 
It's the version you know Okay, about. sure, yeah. Plan the fisherman guard of plenty. The hard work for three minutes and get your hands on double rewards together. Always good, always good. With also Argenti. One must explore the essence of beauty to appreciate the depth of chivalry. <laughs> yes, it is I, your beloved avian servant. Welcome to Inner Astro Peace Media's second special program, Legend of Cosmic Beauty. In today's program, my God, we will be introducing a Damn. new friend B of the universe. Bitch, be looking Yo, fabulous. How's my favorite audience doing? <laughs> Great to see you. Oh, he gets to speak as well. Gone and Albert <laughs> here has already had another wardrobe change. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't get the memo. But we're about to be discussing a night of impeccable elegance. <laughs> it's time to get fancy. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce a member of the Knights of Beauty, Ha Jinty! Okay, 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 we're gonna see more about him. So what about this guy? I mean, he looks fucking fabulous. <laughs> Can't deny that. He looks freaking fantastic. Argenti is a physical type character following the path oh, he's of erudition. Physical erudition. As a devoted admirer of Adrilla the Beauty. Also Argenti physical. Argenti spends his life roaming the universe and extolling their name. Ah, they really like to make so red characters that are not fire. Curio, <laughs> robe of the beauty, and knights of beauty to the rescue. They're obviously related to the knights, right? Running into the knights of beauty while yeah. testing the simulated universe is always a blessing. Those guys are a lifeline in a tight spot. Especially when I can't get enough path resonance. <laughs> Treating people with courtesy, helping others as a matter of principle, and offering sincere praise to all things in the universe. Mm. Such is the code of conduct that our genty lives by. Weren't we supposed to see another universe, character still? Not every helping hand is benevolent. Or am I mistaken? But those provided by the knights are beyond question. You're down bad. the names of our genty <laughs> and the beauty. Be blessed for all Well, better start saving. Uh, speaking of which, Albert, what was that planar fissure and garden of plenty commercial all about? Well, Argenti magnanimously answered our call and agreed to appear in our commercial as a corporate ambassador. Oh, and I know they forgot our end of the bargain. <clears throat> the IPM is he Himeko's brother? I mean, he could be. The beauty is the most peerless beauty of If you said he was, I, I would believe Albert. it. Albert. What did you get yourself into now? No need to worry. Just a little two-way back scratching. Um, okay. Kind of TMI. But I still don't really understand the concept of the beauty. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Adrilla's beauty no, permeates no, everything. Ripper Take Argenti, for example. From his daily armor cleaning routine to his constant grace. All of it stems from his pursuit of the beauty. <laughs> Elegance is Argenti's middle name, and even manifests itself in Who his knows? combat. Who maybe, knows? Maybe that's part Argenti's of some kind attack, of hidden agenda. Fleeting Let's go. Can deal physical damage to a single target. Okay, single his target damage again. Just as hereby blooms, can deal physical damage to all enemies. Okay, nice. AOE. Man, Skill AOE. I wish I looked that elegant in combat. Mm -hmm. Argenti's ultimate is pretty unique, triggering different effects depending on the amount of energy consumed. Such is the manifold beauty of a driller. When consuming a small amount of energy, Argenti's ultimate. Oh, wow. For in this garden, supreme beauty bestows can deal damage to all enemies. When consuming all energy, Argenti's ultimate becomes merit bestowed in my garden, which deals greater damage. It also inflicts additional damage on a random target. Huh? Wait, so you can choose how okay, much so, energy to release? Mm, that's not all. So wait, is that kind of like so is that kind of like with, with uh, Lunate? Can allow our Genti to regenerate additional energy and obtain a stack of self cultivation. Self cultivation can increase our Genti's crit rate. Oh, so the more self cultivation, the fiercer his attacks. Or uh, to to put it another way, our Genti needs to attack as many enemies as possible. The greater the number of enemies, the faster his energy regeneration, and the stronger his combat. Okay, so exactly. AOE galore stronger with this guy. Faster energy regeneration, AOE galore. more enemies to attack. Argenti giving erudition vibes. I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. Argenti's technique, manifesto of purest virtue, can daze enemies within a set range. 
Dazed enemies are unable to launch attacks. Attacking a dazed enemy to enter combat not only deals damage <laughs> to all help. enemies, <laughs> but also regenerates Argenti's energy. You don't like him, Care? <laughs> Argenti is kind of handsome. I'm feeling a little dazed myself. <laughs> they say looks can kill. That's true. That our Genji okay. fans Cabana, are in okay, for a fatal uh, surprise quest? in version 1.5. In Night of Universal Hallucinations, Trailblazers will encounter our Genji en route to a washtopia. Uh, wait a second. A wash of what now? A wash of what now? every day. Slow down there, Trailblazer. Have you never asked yourself how the Astral Express stays so clean and shiny? Uh, because pom poms always cleaning up after us <laughs> uh, it's because the train stops at Wastopia's along its journey it does Wastopia <laughs> specialize in cleaning interstellar craft you know, car wash kinds of fast got you lemon scented we're getting off topic all you need to know is that the encounter with Argenti is one of excitement and wonder <laughs> and a little bird tells me He's set for a showdown with the entire crew. I don't get it. Why are we always either in a fight or on the way to one? A fight, you say? <laughs> Far too poor a term. What you meant to say was a chivalrous display of gentlemanly fortitude. <laughs> anyway, Argenti only challenges those who he deeply respects. Ah, you mean that the illustrious okay. galactic baseballer's reputation doth precede one? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> anyway, with the Drillers' blessing, <laughs> nice. let's move straight on to the version 1.5 warp events. Uh, okay, okay. Warp first events. Off, during the first phase of version 1.5, oh, the, the banners, character okay. event warp, bloom and gloom. Trailblazers oh, God. can obtain the limited. Not Nelly. Again. Why is Nelly there warp? again? <laughs> My favorite scaredy cat Don Hung, Arlen, and Survival. During the second phase of version 1.5, we'll be welcoming oh okay. two character oh, event warps. Hanya is there. Thorns of Scented Crown. Hanya links Asta on Argenti banner. Character Argenti. Ah, our knight in shining armor. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Contract Zero, the familiar oh face God. of Silver Wolf. Okay, Wolf rerun. Will be the war. Silver Wolf. mention the four-star character Hanya. Who will be appearing in both the aforementioned second phase character events? Okay, 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 ah, okay. Long time no see, Silver Wolf. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't I mind about links. Game I definitely don't mind about links. You want to ask her the next time you see her? You first. <laughs> Never mind, I'll go for Silver Wolf. <laughs> it's time to take a look at version 1.5's light cones. Okay, the, the light cones. Version 1.5. The drop rate for the five star light cone. Night of fright. Night of fright will be boosted. While in the second phase of version 1.5, our Genti the five-star weapon. light cone, an instance before gaze, will enter the light cone event warp. At the same time, the drop rate for the five-star okay. light cone, incessant rain, and will be boosted. Okay, okay, okay. All aboard! <laughs> the train is about to make the jump, and here's some other cool stuff. Starting from 1.5, within the team selection and character ascension screens. Every character will have brand new voice this lines. This is a different kind of arena. Oh, new voice lines. Oh, well, that's cool. Again, is that good or bad? I wonder if they're going to be awesome or, or if they're going to become line? annoying. Ah, so cute. <laughs> uh, wait, if a character's already fully ascended, can we still hear their line? We got to cover. All audio lines get saved in the index. Ah, oh, God. We can, do oh, we can start doing Here's this now. In version one TikTok 1. videos, 5, let's go. We'll also be seeing a <laughs> guest book feature update. If trailblazers are ever curious to check which friends have visited the express, the guest book has a record and the message guest from book. each visit. <laughs> Such a okay. neat idea. Additionally, the Forgotten Hall will also be receiving updates in 1.5. First up, in Forgotten Hall Combat, trailblazers can now choose to re-challenge. re -challenge? I don't know. It's like this. Wait. If things aren't going too smooth when challenging a certain stage, Trailblazers can choose to Guys, return to the Forgotten Hall. I'm starting to fear for the Genshin live stream. <laughs> when rechallenging, we have to start rounding off here, I think. Points are replenished. A chance to replan your maze technique strategy, perhaps. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot to mention stopping and restarting a challenge in the second half of a stage doesn't mean you have to redo the first half oh that is a oh. relief and when entering nice. the forgotten hall your combat lineup for each stage is now remembered 
Regardless of whether you met with victory or defeat, your previous lineup will be waiting for you on the preparation screen. <laughs> no oh. need for manual selection. Now okay, that's, that's good. My kind of update. <laughs> Can't wait for Trailblazers to give it all a spin. It's looking the good, Forgotten guys. It's looking good. Is an important system within I'm the fairly game. happy about this. Updates will continue to be rolled out, so stay tuned for future verses. Well, looks like it's time for our final redemption code. Yep, one more code. See you on the other side, Trailblazers. See you on the other side. Okay, last code, guys. Last code. Don't forget to put it in the chat. Let's go. All them Prime was. We're getting 300 Prime was. Uh, Jades. Jades. Prime was Jades. All the things. We getting all the things. I need info on the new artifacts before I lose it. That you can probably have to wait a little bit for. They're probably gonna we're gonna post it on on on, on X somewhere, right? Whew. All right. Ah, uh, what are you guys thinking so far? What are we th What are we thinking so far? It's looking crazy, right? It's looking absolutely. I'm 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 so down for that new zone. I really am. It just was. Yeah, we are. We are. At least that that that's the idea. That's the idea. <laughs> I hype very much. <laughs> you don't like your granty? You think he's bland? No, he, he has a lot of Diluc, uh, <laughs> hey, Diluc vibes. I'm back. <laughs> Me too. Me three. <laughs> Me four. Good to see you again, Trailblazers. You're just in time to help us wrap up. Version 1.5 special program. Aw, uh, is it that time already? Yeah, I, I was just getting started. I like Ho-Ho too, Be yeah. my guest, Trailblazer. This owl is ready to flap. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something, Albert? I'm pretty sure you didn't mention the thing. thing? The thing? What thing? The thing. <gasps> what thing? The thing! What that thing? thing? Oh, Wait, the thing. Okay. Gift of Odyssey. Hey, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> In version there 1. it is. 5, trailblazers can get their hands of course. on 10 warps through the, the thing. I like the there thing. Yeah. I like the thing Gotta very much. The thing event. is a good thing. <laughs> and that's it's a good thing. thing to love in version 1.5. <laughs> Anything in today's IPM programs tickle your fancy guy? You had me at Yo, Bitter, how you doing? Squad. I am so ready for a spooky stream. <laughs> Sign me up. As for me, it was all about those unique characters. Ho Ho's tail back. I love the spooky Hanya's vibes. Ten Lord's expertise but it should have come a little Argentine's bit. It should have come a little bit earlier. For the beauty. <laughs> Can't wait to see them in person. I like Couldn't the thing too. Put it better myself. We all like the thing. <laughs> and with that, Trailblazers, I bid you a peaceful onward journey. Thank you so much, Albert. <laughs> Twas a pleasure. For supporting the IBM. Twas a pleasure. See you in the next one. <laughs> bye bye. Trailblazers you later. All right, guys. That was it. Awesome. On to the next one. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Genshin. You're next.